today. I got nervous. Hi, I'm Melissa. Hi, my name is Aaron. My name is Jacob. Hey, I'm Maddie. Hi, I'm Anthony. Describe your high school experience in one word. Uh, that's a hard one. One word? Oh my gosh. Epic. Memorable. 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 Phenomenal. Entertaining. Crazy. Crazy? Um, 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 crazy. Crazy. Crazy and stupid. <laughs> Traumatic. <laughs> Traumatic? Interesting. Interesting. Fantastic. Chaotic. If I were to describe my high school experience in one word, it would be a movie. Why a movie? All the memories and everything are so, like, <laughs> vivid still to, like, the point where, like, when you look back, it makes a movie, like, in your head. Amazing. Amazing. Um, eventful, definitely. Eventful? <laughs> Exciting. Exciting. Unforgettable. Fulfilling. Fulfilling. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I could just say fun. Yeah, okay. people yeah. said fun, yeah. yeah okay. So fun? Yeah. Fun. <laughs> fun. Mm, fun? Okay. It was okay. It was okay. Okay, it was okay. Can I use A? Like A. Oh, yeah. Oh, a roller coaster. Why a roller coaster? Well, because there's like good times, bad times, um, late nights, early nights. <laughs> I feel like it was a roller coaster because there was a lot of ups and downs, a lot of challenges, but there was also a lot of fun times. I met a lot of new people. Um, amazing. Why amazing? Because it was just a growing up period that I noticed over the past four years. I can't explain to people who have not experienced the high school experience. It's a wonderful experience that everyone should have. It's a learning process. You meet new friends. You gain learning opportunities. It's amazing. Uh, it's not one word, but it was a learning. It was a learning experience. Why was it a learning experience? Uh, just people. You learn from people. You learn from school, and you learn how to grow up. What will you miss most about high school? Softball. Aww. I'll definitely miss playing baseball with all the boys. Miss the boys? The boys of the baseball team. Uh, my drama kids, probably. The health academy. All, like, the families that I've made, like, especially the Ivy kids, because I've been with them all for years. Probably the relationships that I've built with the people, like the teachers are really, well, the teachers that I've had are really great, and I'm sure they're plenty of other like really great teachers on campus and I know I know other students built great relationships with the teachers and I know they'll miss those as well. Being able to just like talk to my friends whenever I want and I'll miss all the staff and having that support and oh somebody's always like watching out for you. Just like seeing everyone that I grew up with in middle school and it's just crazy to think that we're all moving on to bigger and better things. Definitely making everyone um, laugh and running around screaming and laughing, but just feeling like I could be a kid, but now I have to like grow up, so. I will miss seeing my friends every day because I know that I'm not gonna see them anymore. So just waking up knowing that I have friends to go to. Ooh, the most I'll miss is definitely like the people I see, like my classmates, because I like a lot of them I don't hang out with outside, but like you have like special connections with them in your classroom. What will you miss most about high school? The people. What won't you miss about high school? The people. <laughs> what won't you miss about high school? What I won't miss about high school? I don't know what I'm going to miss about high school because there's a lot of things, but like, let's break it down. The bathrooms. <laughs> the drama. The drama is dumb. I hate it. Drama. Lots of drama. <laughs> the pressure to be perfect. Some of the classes I don't enjoy, biology, I hate, physics, I'm sorry, <laughs> but no. Probably the food. I wish the food was better. <laughs> I won't miss the food. 
cafeteria food. We need better food, honestly. <laughs> the whole IB program. I'll miss, I won't miss the classes at all. They were all really hard. The work, <laughs> I yeah, all of the work. IB classes in general. Oh, the work, the homework, the classwork, all that. Not gonna miss it. Homework <laughs> and stress. Wait, <laughs> no, I have homework in college. Can, let's not put that one. I won't miss the scheduling, like waking up at like 7.30 to go to a first period class that I don't like really want to go to. Or I would have to wait until like third period for my fun classes, you know what I mean? Even though I do love my second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, first period's a little bit long. Okay, one thing that I'll, I definitely won't miss about high school is taking math because I did not take math my senior year and I don't do math. <laughs> what won't you miss about high school? I won't miss all the people I never saw. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are your plans for the future? I'm going to San Francisco State University to study film and I want to be a director. Um, to attend La Sierra University and further my softball career. After high school, I want to get my bachelor and then master's and then my PhD in criminal psychology to work in the psychiatric wards or work with the government to help the criminals that are being prosecuted go in. Um, I'm going to be a physician's assistant. I'm going to college at RCC to become a registered nurse first and eventually get my credentials to be a physician's assistant. Um, I want to do hair, so hopefully I can own my own um, hair salon. Um, I don't have long-term plans, but I want to be a tattoo artist. Uh, probably enlist in the Navy or the Air Force. I am going to be going into the Navy and going into the medical field. Uh, I'm joining the United States Marine Corps. I want to become a PA, so I'm going to specialize in pediatrics. Um, I'm majoring in mechanical engineering at Cal Poly Pomona, so I'm going to join like a student racing team and um, build cars and things like that. Uh, my plan is to play softball at UMass Lowell for four years and then eventually um, go into uh, business administration and finance. I plan to attend Fullerton and then, so yeah, I'll get my, my uh, I'll get a degree and then, then I'll, I'll, I want to get my teaching credentials and get into teaching because I want to teach math. To attend Towson University to play Division One softball. My plans for the future is I'll be going to GCU in the fall in Phoenix studying forensic psychology and getting my PhD to become a behavioral specialist. I want to be a physical therapist and I'm going to Loyola Marymount University in August, so that's pretty much it. Also, a low budget bucket list with me and my friends. For the future, I'm going to be attending Point Loma National University and I'm going to be majoring in media communications where basically my emphasis is in film studies and I plan on working in television and becoming an executive producer. I'm going to Point Loma Nazarene University and I'm studying history with hopes to potentially become a high school history teacher and then hopefully go and get my master's or a PhD and be a professor. Yeah. I am going to San Francisco State and we'll see you <laughs> when I get there. I'm planning on going to film school to become an actress. I'm going to go off to college and I'm going to study to become a RVT registered vet tech. Well, I'm going to college and I'm planning on playing football and baseball, so I'm trying to excel in baseball. So, yeah. I'm going to Alma College in Michigan and I'm going to study nursing and hopefully become a pediatric nurse. Oh, these are my plans. I plan to go to Dixie State, go Trailblazers. Um, I plan to study nursing. After I go, after um, college, I plan to go to Washington and become a nurse there, and then I'll get my credentials in Botox. So if you need plastic surgery in the next four or five years, call me. What is one thing you regret? Uh, I don't know. Ooh, that's, uh, ooh. One thing I regret is a lot. Um, I probably regret how I acted freshman and sophomore year because I was kind of mean. Well, I wasn't mean, but like I had like a dark humor. I had a lot of, I had dark humor and I guess I wasn't really like open. So. Being more open to people in high school and learning more about people. I wish I would have done that more. Mm, not taking high school seriously in freshman year. Not trying my hardest my freshman year. If I could go back, that's one thing I'd definitely do. I probably regret not trying so hard in, in classes. I like, 
because I, I didn't realize how much how important that really is when it comes to college. One thing I regret, I feel like, is definitely taking my time to figure out like who was a good influence and who was a bad influence. I hung out around wrong people a lot, so finally like senior year, I'm kind of in a really good place versus like freshman year, so I feel like taking forever to realize like these people are not good for me was kind of like one thing I regret. Not going to a lot of sporting events. Not going to as much senior activities. I regret not having a boyfriend these past four years because I feel like I should have had a companion that I can do stuff with on the weekends and through like high school activities. I don't regret anything. <laughs> I have no regrets. I don't think I regret anything because everything that I've done has led up to what I do right now. So I guess, yeah, I don't regret anything. What is one thing you regret? Getting in a fight. I regret that. Don't get in fights. It's stupid. One thing I regret is not leaving as much as an impact as my friends have. Like my friends have been in ASB and like they're leaders of the blue hole and like softball captains and they like make more memories and stuff than I think I did. So I regret that not getting into like ASB and stuff and making such a big impact. Um, I think the one thing I regret would be probably missing out on some school, some like missing out on some of the school activities and things that we've done. Not becoming close with the group that I'm close with now, earlier. I wish I met the friends that I'm best friends with now, like freshman year, so we could have been like close all four years. I regret not trying sophomore year. Sophomore year kicked my butt and just thinking I was too poor for school. Try all your freaking years. Do you have anything you like to say to the graduating class of 2019? Um, congratulations to everyone. We're done. We finished. Um, good luck in the future and thanks for all the memories. Thank you to, to everyone that I've talked with, never talked with maybe, or like people that I've interacted with because everyone that I've talked to or maybe not talked to has left an impact on my life and they really helped. Well, everyone, everyone really helped in, in making me the person that I am today. Dear senior class, I just want to give a huge shout out to all the people who supported me all these four years and give a shout out to like all the people who are fake out there who didn't want to be my friend and look at me now because I'm going places. Yeah. You're going to be staying here in Lake Elsinore while I'm going up to Utah, continuing my education and getting new friends. Thank you. <laughs> I wish the best to everybody and uh, you know, shout out to Mr. Quinn for helping me out for every with everything, helping me out with life. You know, you're a great man. I really appreciate everything you've done for me. Uh, I hope you all go out and do all your, you know, do all, accomplish all your dreams and your goals. And uh, all you younger guys, all the younger kids, I don't really care about you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> but everyone in my grade, let's go on and be great. As a final goodbye, I would like to say thank you for all of my support and um, advice you have given me through my unfortunate car accident. And thank you for helping me and helping the school to reunite against. Um, hard times and challenges that we face, especially between Kennedy and everything else happening. Thank you, and we love you, Kennedy. Thank you.